Is my retirement money safe after all this bank collapse travesty that went on? There's six points you need to know to figure that out. First point is banks loan out your deposits. Brokers cannot do that by law. They can only invest your money. They cannot loan out your deposits. It's the first thing to know. That's a big difference between having money in a bank and having money in a broker. You know, if you're investing in stocks, bonds and stuff, they cannot use that money and loan it out to other people or turn it into their own investments. They're investing that money for you. Only you. Big difference between banks and brokers. Number two, traditional IRAs, Ross, and stuff like that are insured at banks under FDIC if it is only in cash, okay? So if you have a Roth, if you have, a, if you have just a, a regular IRA, um, it is insured if you have it at a bank, if you only have it in cash, okay? This does not include it if it's at a brokerage. Number three, 401ks that are invested in stocks as well as IRAs and are at a brokerage, they're not protected by the FDIC. They are protected by the SIPC, which is the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. Notice I had to look down at that, that's a big mouthful. What the SIPC is, is totally separate. It doesn't deal with banks at all. It deals with brokers like Fidelity, Vanguard, TD Ameritrade, stuff like that. Now, first of all, these brokerages have to be members of the SIPC, which the vast majority of the larger ones are. If your investments, your 401ks, your IRAs, whatever, are at a brokerage that is covered by the SIPC, your retirement savings are safe up to $500,000, okay? So take a deep breath. That should give you, you know, some good feelings about that. It sure did to me because I'll have to be honest with you guys. I had to look into this myself. I didn't know. I was like, okay, wait, these banks are collapsing left and right. What's going on? Okay, <gasps> what about my retirement? What should I do? I, wa I looked into it and that gave me some peace of mind. The fourth thing, as I just said, is the SIP covers up to $500,000. Now, this is if some, some brokerages do have uh, their own bank. Now, if you have money within the bank of that brokerage, it is covered by the FDIC, but that money is not the money that you give them to invest, such as your 401k, your IRA, uh, all your other investments. Those are covered separately under the SIPC. <clears throat> Couple more things, CDs, money markets, if you have those at a bank, those are covered by the FDIC. Again, this only goes up to $250,000, okay? So some of you, you know, considering what's happened in the last couple of weeks, if you have more than $250,000 in a, in a bank, you, can, you should consider maybe swapping that out to different banks, you know, maybe 100,000 here, 100,000 there. I wouldn't keep it all, you know, if it's over $250,000 at one bank, if I were you. Okay, so CDs, money markets are covered. Now, additionally, what some of the large brokers do, such as Fidelity, is they will purchase what's called excess SIPC. So this should give you additional peace of mind about your investments like your 401ks and your IRAs, if they're investing those for you. Not if they're cash, again, if they're cash at a bank, that's covered by the FDIC up to $250,000. Now this excess SIPC is separate insurance that is purchased, in this case by Fidelity, and I'm sure um, what this does is that even if you have more than $500,000 invested in your retirement accounts there, this excess SIPC, in the case of Fidelity, will cover up to $1.9 million of cash that is for your investments, okay? So that should give you additional peace of mind right there, right? It, I know it does for me. Now, I don't have $1.9 million of cash. I'm far below that. Um, 
so yeah, you know, take a deep breath, guys. If you do have your retirement assets that are being invested at a brokerage, you are covered, okay? This is obviously, ah, it's a big peace of mind for me. Hopefully it is for you guys as well, all right? Because all this stuff that's going on, I mean, with the banks collapsing, hopefully, you know, I mean, maybe some of you are part of the, one of the banks that collapsed, but just the fact that the government stepped in and they covered not only up to $250,000 of those assets, they went above and beyond. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to, you know, relay to us, the little guys, hey, everything's fine. Do not go in on runs at your bank. You're going to be okay. All right. So anyway, retirement savings, if you have them at a legitimate brokerage, they should be covered under SIPC up to $500,000. And again, some of those very large ones, they actually purchase excess SIPC, which should make you feel even better, right? I know it does me. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, if this is your first time seeing me, my name is Dwayne. And I retired back about a year and a half ago at 59 years old with around $500,000 in savings, retirement savings, cash, etc. What this channel is about is we have collected a bunch of people, subscribers that are in about the same situation as I am. And we're just throwing ideas back and forth to each other. And you know what? We're making it work. Hey, it's a bumpy road, but if you just hang in there, stick to your strategy, what you're doing well, we're making it work, guys. We have so many good comments on this channel, so much good information back and forth. If any of you are interested in that, please consider subscribing. And also, if you've liked this video, please like the video as well. And to my current subscribers, keep it going, guys. We're growing fast. We're growing fast. Hey, I even got my buddy here subscribing. We got music now. What else, can, what else do we need? So anyway, guys, hope everyone's having a good day. As you can see out here in the high desert, it's about to rain, man. I'm, I'm tired of this rain. Can we get past the rain for once? It was so nice yesterday. It was like about, well, 60 degrees, and now we're getting bugs here from all this rain. Um, but yeah, things are going good. And remember, guys, as long as you've got your retirement strategy all set up, ready to go, you've tossed it by people that know what they're talking about, Hey, stick to that strategy. Don't get all pushed out of sorts just because things aren't going how you want them to. This is a long-term thing we're dealing with, all right? As long as you have a good strategy, you've ran it by the right people, you're confident in how your, how your retirement uh, assets are distributed, stick with it, guys. And just remember, as always, we got this.